breaking news in the past 20 minutes or so, and that is that the British government is expected to ask the Queen, Queen Elizabeth, to suspend Parliament for an extended period shortly after the summer recess. It's a move that would hamper efforts to block a no-deal Brexit. Uh, the government wants a longer period of recess than normal for the traditional party conference season in September and October. What this means it, uh, is that MPs would be unlikely to have time to pass any laws that could stop Prime Minister Boris Johnson potentially taking Britain out of the European uh, Union without a deal. Uh, and that deadline, do or die, as the uh, Prime Minister has said on numerous occasions, uh, is set for Halloween, October the 31st. Uh, now, there have been uh, several calls uh, uh, or saying that this has been an outrage to parliamentary uh, democracy. Uh, those MPs, uh, those political leaders, who are firmly against a no-deal uh, decision uh, to come out of the uh, European Union uh, have been meeting yesterday talking about perhaps trying to form a, a parliament of national unity or indeed a people's uh, uh, parliament. Uh, that has been one idea put forward by the Archbishop of Canterbury. Uh, journalists, though, have been uh, reacting to the news uh, and it's worth uh, just repeating what our political editor who broke this story uh, had to say in Initially, Boris Johnson's government to hold the Queen's speech on the 14th of October will be confirmed by the Privy Council at Balmoral. The Queen is up in Scotland in Balmoral. Uh, number 10, so Downing Street, says it is all business as usual for a new government, but it has a useful political side effect that denies MPs time to try to stop no deal. Uh, she then suggests that the British Parliament is unlikely to meet therefore from next Monday until around the 11th of September. Uh, Laura understands that Downing Street must think uh, they have some legal protection from court cases if they are suspending Parliament to come back with a Queen's speech. Uh, she says that there will be a huge row. Uh, she reports a senior number 10 sources denying the move is about Brexit saying the move is a bog standard Queen's speech process. A lot of people would disagree with that. Uh, well, this is clearly the defence. Uh, number 10 is going to run against charges of carrying out a constitutional outrage. Uh, there is going to be nothing bog standard uh, about the arguments ahead. PM has pitted himself against Parliament before MPs back. Uh, buckle up. So, uh, what it means is that following the meeting yesterday of the leader of the opposition, uh, the leader of the Liberal Democrats uh, and other political leaders who are committed to uh, fighting a no-deal Brexit, it narrows the period of time that they will have to get any parliamentary process through to try and stop uh, a no-deal Brexit.